guys, it's Noah and welcome to Must Watch. Well, today's guest is definitely a must watch. Please welcome world-renowned chef Curtis Stone to Must Watch. Welcome to the show. Good morning, nice to see you. Curtis, it's so nice to have you on the show this morning. And by the way, we should all be asleep. It's so early. Oh my gosh, one eye is open and one is shut. But tell me, what time is it over there? What time zone are you in? It is um, 4.20. 4.20? <laughs> a bright and early. So early. It's so early. It's like 7-ish over here, Curtis. So yes, I'm on the <laughs> East Coast time. But now tell me real quick, because you have some delicious dishes in front of you and it's making me hungry. What are you making <laughs> for us today? Tell us more about it. Well, I'm going to make something that my mum used to make for me all the time, and she got this recipe from her mum, and it's it's one of those multi-generational recipes. I'm going to make you scones, and they've got currants in them, and then I'm going to make a delicious jam with strawberry and rhubarb. You know, it's Ooh. interesting. I work with Bosch, and they recently did a survey, and 64% of people said that they still cook meals from their mums and their grandmas, and to me, that's, ah. that's talking my language. I mean, I named both my restaurants after my grannies, so um, yeah. I, I love of that multi-generational cooking. Oh, that's great. And you are definitely all about family, my friend. From sure. naming your two restaurants after your grandmothers to cooking with your kids, it's clear that family plays a big role in your cooking. So why is this so important to you? Well, I think, you know, it's for me, it's where all those lovely memories are. You know, you have all those beautiful uh -huh. memories, whether it's from your mum or your granny, or, or maybe it's just sitting around the family, sitting around with the family, listening to the stories and having the conversations. I always say, Good food should bring you confidence in the kitchen, right? A good recipe at least. And right. then it should bring you happiness to the dinner table because that's the most, that's why we do it, right? We, we do all of this Absolutely. cooking because we want to be around that dinner table with our, our special people. So mm -hmm. here's how you make the jam. I just threw my strawberries, my rhubarb, the sugar and the lemon into the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and crank up that temperature. Now, when you're cooking a jam, you really want the precision. You want to get it to a simmer and then you want to be able to hold that simmer. That's why I love mm -hmm. using Bosch's induction cooktop. It really gives you that absolute precision. It's also yeah. really easy to clean up afterwards. You don't have to pull off the grates. You just spray it and give it a quick wipe right. down. So, so that's nice and simple. So let's leave our um, jam tick along and come over here. I'll show you the scones. So here it is. I've got, mm. I've got my um, scone batter over here or my dough, I, I should say. I'm just going to roll that out ever so lightly, right, just like that. And this uh -huh. one, like I said, has currants in it. So you get yourself one of these little cutters, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut maybe five or six more of these, pop them onto your sheet tray. Mm -hmm. The important thing when you're baking, of course, is that you have um, beautiful, even heat, right? So I'm going right. to go ahead and pop these guys right out up here. And then if you want to give them a quick brush, you can just give uh -huh. them a quick brush with some cream, just like that. Okay, and then we take those over to the oven. Now, I used to write recipes for people and say you've got to do a thing called the sheet pan shuffle. Because you know the hot, the, the top of the oven gets hotter than the bottom of the oven. And then the middle, so you've got to constantly be taking the, the bottom tray to the top tray. Well, guys, that's a thing of the past because I'm cooking in Bosch's beautiful wall oven here. And there's a new function called the multi-rack function. And what it basically does is it means that the heat gets blasted through the oven and the top rack is exactly the same temperature as the bottom and the middle. So I know with absolute confidence when I pull this scone out, oh look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna Curtis, the food's cool? making me so hungry. Mm, I, I wish I had some on the set right <laughs> I'm here, sorry. right now. Next time we'll send them in advance, I promise. So I get that strawberry and rhubarb jam that we, we've been simmering away and you can see already um, over in this pan, the one that I'm cooking now, you can see how it's already come up to that, to that simmer. So you just give that a little stir, that sugar's gonna devolve, dissolve, and then you can go ahead and turn that heat down with just one press. And that's what I love about that yeah. induction cooktop. We finish off the scones with a little cream. You can use a clotted cream or you could use some whipped cream and you've got these gorgeous little scones. So they're great as a morning yeah. tea or an afternoon tea oh. or a snack for the kids. My boys come home from school uh, and this is quite often one of the, uh, the snacks I make for them. And then to wash it all down, I'm gonna make a little lemonade. Now this is one of my wife's recipes actually. Uh, I call it mm -hmm. Lindsay's Lemonade. And the one that we've taught our boys, they actually go down to the, uh, the bus stop and they set up a lemonade stand once in a while on weekends. So when you're driving oh. through LA next, look out for them. <laughs> That's right, when I'm riding by, I'm like, oh, there's Curtis's kids out there serving <laughs> lemonade. Mm -hmm. Give me some raspberry lemonade. How about that? You know? <laughs> this, this, this is a strawberry lemonade. Now, 
the ice is an important factor, right? Summer's on its way and we all want tons of ice. So the, oh, yeah. over here I've got my, um, my Quick Ice Pro fridge and it actually produces up to 40 glasses of ice um, a day. So, I mean, no one needs that much ice, but it's good to know that you've got that much at hand. So Lindsay's Lemonade, the perfect thing to wash down your beautiful scones with. Well, Curtis, you're definitely a busy guy, but what do you have on your plate for 2022? Like, what's coming up for you that we can stay tuned and uh, catch? <sighs> it's more like, what don't I have on my plate? I mean, <laughs> it's so busy. We've you're got so the, busy. We've got our restaurants here in Los Angeles, Gwen and Maud, and then I have one in Dallas. I'm actually on my way over there next week to be in Dallas oh, at Georgie. I just finished a show with Fox called Crime Scene Kitchen, so that's going to premiere yes. later in the year. So yeah, lots on, and you know, you know what it's like with a busy family. You know, Curtis, I subscribe to the U.S. Weekly magazine, and they shared a day in the life page about you that I have on the set right here. The thing that I found the most interesting is at 8 a.m. you like to drink coffee, and you say that coffee culture in Australia is huge, and you drink up to eight cups a day. You sell it in my partner Jared, <laughs> but what got you real big into loving the taste of coffee? Don't tell my doctor, that's too many, I, I know. Um, <laughs> I, I love coffee first thing in the morning, and I think our chefs, we run on adrenaline, but we also run on coffee, uh -huh. that's the truth. And because we're in the restaurant until late, we probably keep drinking coffee throughout the day, so we drink more than most. And, you know, I, I still have one at, you know, seven or eight o'clock at night because I've got to get through the second turn of service because quite often I won't leave the restaurant till midnight. So, um, yeah, mm. I drink too much coffee, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, lastly, before we have to go, I really like the 5 p.m., which says family time. You say the best part of my day is coming home to my boys, Emerson and Hudson, my beautiful wife, actress Lindsay Price, and our pups. Um, you know, family means so much to you. We discussed this at the beginning of the interview, but what does family mean to you, and why is it important to spend family time? Um, you know, especially after a long day in Hollywood, you're a busy, busy guy, and it's great to see that you make time for your family. You know what, I mean, my days are really varied, that's the truth. Sometimes I'm in the mm -hmm. restaurant until late, sometimes I'm doing something like this, I'm, I'm on a set shooting. So, you know, the pandemic probably taught me more than anything to spend as much time as you can with your family. I absolutely love being home with those beautiful boys and my wife. So whenever I can, I'm there and I'm in it full on, you know, whether it's cooking dinner, my wife's a good cook too. She's in the kitchen quite often. So I think that that heart of the home is always the most important part. And if that heart's beating strong, then guess what? Mm -hmm. The whole family's doing all right. And, and that's absolutely. what we love. We love being in the kitchen. Well, Chef Curtis Stone, it's so great to get to speak with you on Must Watch. Tell our viewers where we can go to get these recipes and more information that we discussed this AM. You can go to Bosch's website or you can even go to their Heart of the Home blog. Um, and that's a great place to learn lots about the incredible appliances that make you a better cook. And of course, grab my recipes while you're there.